For this week's podcast in English.com, we're going to talk about the past and the present, and in particular with regard to a British seaside resort. It's the Isle of Man, and with me is Beryl. Hello, Beryl. Hello, Richard. Now then, we've got a picture here. Can you tell me what's going on in this picture? Well, it's a very full beach, packed with people. There's even horse and little carts, and I believe they used to take the people out into the sea to get into little rowing boats. Okay, and when do you think it was taken? Oh, it must be the early uh, 1920s. 1920s, okay. Roughly. So, obviously, there's lots of people in that photo. Did lots of people come over to the Isle of Man? Yes, we used to have very good seasons at one time, until 1947. Okay, and that's after the war, the Second World War. Okay, now I believe you or your family had a hotel near where this picture was taken. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, it was just a few yards off the promenade. And we had 25 bedrooms and we used to have very busy summers, especially TT week and Manx Grand Prix week when we had motorbike racing on the island. So how many people do you think came over in those days? Oh, thousands, fifty, sixty thousand, and the boats were kept very busy. We had about nine boats at that time. So everybody came over by boat then, did they? It's mostly by boat because the aeroplanes are rather expensive. So what about this picture? This looks like the same place. Is it it the same place? Yes, it is. But you move on a bit now to about the 1980s, 1990s. There's hardly anybody on the beach. So why was that then? What's happened? And that's because the island is not a bucket and spade holiday island now. It's mostly a financial island. And are the the buildings at the back, are they any different? Uh, Some of them have been pulled down and made into apartments. So does the Isle of Man not get any tourists anymore? Not, no, not really. But people do still come over here, don't they? Oh, yes. But what, they don't come for the beach anymore, do they? No, no, they come for the scenery and for walks in the country, in the glens. But it's not, it's not a bucket and spade holiday. Okay, Beryl, so this is another picture. What's, where's this taken? It's the main road in Onken village. Okay, and when was it taken, the picture? Oh, many years ago. A hundred years ago, possibly. Okay. And do you recognise this picture? Yes, because I was born in Onken. And, and where? 80 years ago. Oh, my goodness. Is it a very busy picture or quiet? Very quiet, nothing at all on it really, except a dog and some (laughs) little houses. (laughs) Yes. And how big was the village in those days? Only small. Everybody knew everybody. Okay, what's this building on the right? That's the Manx Arms Hotel. Manx Arms is the village pub. Now then, I think that picture was taken in the same place, wasn't it? Yes, it is. That's today. That's today. So what changes have you seen over the last hundred years in Onken village? Well, for one thing, the roads have all made made up. And there's a bank now on the left-hand side. And the old shops have gone. And there's cars on the road. So it is a very busy village now? Yes, it's very busy now. I see the Manx Arms are still there. Is that still doing good business? Yes. That's still there, and it's still going strong. Okay, great. So, Beryl, so obviously there's lots of changes happened on the Isle of Man over the last hundred years. Overall, do you think it's a better place now than it, than it was, or worse? Well, I'm 80 years old, and I don't like too many of the changes. But a lot of people do. They have to ad- advance, I suppose. So what changes, what are the major changes, you think? Well, it's not a holiday island anymore. And lots of the boarding houses on the prom are apartments. The countryside's still the same, but lots of houses built everywhere. Really? Yes. Too many houses. But you still enjoy living here, though? Oh, I love it. I wouldn't live anywhere else. That's great. Thanks very much, Beryl. You're welcome.